Hi and welcome back to the Drive School. Today we are going to take a look at how to connect batteries, energy storage to an industrial grid or a city grid. There are basically two ways of doing this. One is with a grid converter and the other is with a DC converter. So we are going to take a look at should we select the grid converter or should we select the DC converter for our application? The grid converter is used directly on the AC grid. Let's take a look at the other way of connecting a battery to an industrial system. Connecting a battery to a DC bus system, typically a common DC bus system, will need you to have some device to adjust the voltage according to the battery voltage. The battery voltage can be anything inside the state of charge of that battery and depending on the load on the battery. So you need something between the battery and the DC bus system and this is the DC converter. It is a regular frequency converter. All the hardware is same same it is only the software that converts this thing into a DC converter. And let's rebuild our system a little bit here to a DC converter using the same frequency converter to power these batteries, but not on this side. We turn the whole thing. On the grid converter, we saw that the IGBTs are here. We are using the motor cables to power the AC grid and the DC link is connected to the battery. On the DC converter, this is opposite. On the DC bus side, we connect the frequency converter DC link and we actually put the IGBTs, the transistors, to the battery. How is that possible? Because out of the motor cables, Usually there will be only AC and now we are using it for battery. This is done like this. Now we have rebuilt our model a little bit. So the battery now have ended up on the IGBT side of the frequency converter. The three motor phases, UVW, we connect to chokes and connect all of them together in the plus to the battery. The minus of the battery go back to the minus of the DC bus. So the frequency converter basically start doing something that produce a DC voltage, a variable DC voltage. This is called interleafing. We're going to take a look at that closer on the training course for the DC DC converter. But basically, we now have a bi-directional controller for DC. Special with this thing is that the voltage range is very wide. You can go down to very, very low voltages and up to as high voltage as the current start flowing in the wrong direction. There is diodes that is uh, blocking, of course but the voltage can be is such a wide range that this opens for some possibilities with uh, strange energy sources. One thing is batteries, which is easy, but then you have fuel cells, you have solar plants and these kind of things. Then you can have this huge range of voltage windows and you easily can adapt this to a common DC bus with a fixed voltage. How to control this thing? Well actually from the operator side it's quite easy. There are two ways of controlling it. You can control it in drooping voltage. This is just like active front ends do. That is basically that you aim for the same voltage as the common DC bus and then you have some drooping as function of the load. That means when the current is bigger then you reduce the voltage 
a little bit and then it will take off the load so you adjust the drooping to be the same as other uh, energy uh, producers on the grid and then you will have the same drooping profile it's just like paralleling active fountain so drooping is an easy way of sharing the load with other producers current reference is another way of controlling the DC DC converter that is basically that it how like a power handle you control it from the PLC power management system battery management system and the operator decide how many amperes and which direction it should be should you give amperes to the bus or should you charge the batteries with a current coming from the DC bus to the battery so in current reference mode it looks very similar to the grid converter in isosynchronous mode but with the current reference mode the PLC will be in totally control of the state of charge of the battery and the energy balance in the whole system will you see ships or applications where both the grid converter and the DC DC converter is in use at the same time yes actually if you look at complex ships complex hybrid ships today you will find that in some part of the systems you have a fixed DC bus system and these places to add a battery energy storage you will need the DC converter other part of the ship you maybe allow a floating DC voltage then you can put the battery directly on the DC bus consumers actually making distribution net which are battery powered absolutely interoperable and you're using the grid converter to be between this DC system and the ship AC grid so you could theoretically see the grid applications and the DC converter used in combinations in the next training course we are going to take a closer look at the grid converter here we have one with a battery of 750 volts now we have charged the DC bus and we have a consumer so if we create a grid we are now producing some 400 volts even got the transformer here and let's connect our battery ferry so this is a battery driven propulsion unit for ferry